Good day everyone! Today we're gonna do something special. Today we're going shopping. Shopping intended for you and me like a new immigrants. Immigrants to the United States or for any foreign students coming here to the US. Uh, we will be focusing on things that you definitely need when you arrive here in the US. Uh, particularly basic items. So you guys will have an idea on what are the things that you should buy or should not buy. So stay tuned and watch today. And here's Mandela Cruz, your OFW. We will do a purchase and do a price check on the items you definitely need when you come here to the US. We are doing this because I know how stressful and frustrating moving to a new place is, or rather to a new country. Guys, we will be doing our shopping in one of the most common stores here in the US, which is Walmart. I will give comments and critics whether you should buy this here or buy it somewhere else. If you have other suggestions, please comment down below. The theme for the shopping spree is minimalist or slightly minimalist. So we will shop only the things you definitely need for a single person. Also guys, most of us new immigrants here will be moving to a different state or place after our initial contract finishes. So you have to think about it as well. Meaning we won't be buying too much stuff and too bulky stuff as this will definitely be an inconvenience upon transferring. Especially if you're alone. Also, it will be a waste of money. Also, don't forget to subscribe, okay? So, let's start. Before you go searching to other departments, you have to go to the clearance sections first as you might find things that are very low price. For example, this diner set. Original price is $49, but now it's only $31. But let's not put this in the inventory yet. Let's browse some more items first. Let's go to the bedroom showcase. Number one, you definitely need a bed or at least a bed mattress. You can choose an air mattress, but better get those thick foam or spring mattress instead, as comfort and sleeping is really important for us. They don't have much options here. You can check other stores like Big Nuts or Lowe's. Definitely, they have more options and more affordable beds for sale. Or, you can also go online on Walmart and have it delivered to you, like this mattress. Sometimes, you can find this in the actual stores. But for now, you can just order this online. This is only $143, 8 inches full-size mattress. So just enough for one person or maybe two. The best thing here in the US, if you do not like the mattress that you bought, you can just return it to the Walmart store. Or you can just call them. They would reimburse your payment as soon as they can. And sometimes they won't even ask you to return those items to a particular store. They will just ask you to dispose those things. Dispose those brand new items. So technically, meaning you can still keep those items and just get your money back. This actually became a trend in TikTok at one point, returning the items but not actually returning the items. Just getting the money back. But guys, God is watching us, okay? By the way guys, if you order online, take note of the delivery time guys, okay? If you want it as soon as possible, it comes with a price. And currently, US is having some issues with delivery of products. So it might be best to just buy things that are readily available on the market. For example, in a different Walmart, you can buy this 6-inch inner spring mattress. Not sure about the quality guys, but like I said, you can always return this. It only costs $99, which fits our criteria and also would fit inside a regular car. Or if you want something bigger, you can buy this instead, 10-inch hybrid for the memory and spring mattress type. Also, will fit inside a regular car with a price of $369. So for the bed frame guys, you can buy this instead and it is adjustable. Or you can buy those bed box frame or those wooden bed frames but they are expensive and also delivery is an issue. So for this video, we are aiming to be minimalist like the Japanese so let's just put the mattress on a clean floor instead. Then of course the pillows. The cheapest brand in Walmart will be Mainstay. This is the pillow that I bought almost 2 years now and it is still floppy. Here it says $5.96. But the thing with Walmart, some of the prices are not updated on their shelves. I remember buying this for $3. So let's use our Walmart app instead. So just scan the barcode. And see, the price is $3.97. Then at the end of the aisle, it shows the proper pricing. So I got two of this kind. One with a bigger fluffy pillow and the other with a thinner one. Because I like my head part to be a little bit lower. Then of course, we need blanket or the whole bed sheet. I suggest getting a set as it is really cheaper this way. The mattress that we chose is a twin size. But the full size and the twin size is almost the same size guys. So we'll just choose the full size instead. 
Here we have full size 8 pieces set. This comes in different color guys. Each set comes with a one full comforter, one fitted sheet, one flat sheet, two standard pillow cases, and two standard pillow shams, and one bed skirt. So you have the complete bedding package you need for only $32. Then next guys is the curtains. If you are like me, assigned to be a permanent night shift, you definitely need a darkening curtain. Level 4. You need to mimic the nighttime mode by creating a total darkness in your room. This provides you with important proper sleep you need. And you can achieve this by using a darkening or blackout curtains. And they have different levels. 1, 2, 3, and 4. We want at least 3. Or if better, get the level 4. The only thing is, the higher the level, the more expensive it is. And take note about one panel or two panels and of course the length and width which should match your window size at home. So for now, let's go with this $14.88. If you work in the day, just choose these regular ones which cost around $10. Now, let's go to the kitchen and dining area. You definitely need pans to cook with. There are different pans available with different pricing. Fiberware is good quality but not the best. It's like the middle class for me. Take note on the details. You need it to be dishwasher safe. Most cooking pans are. And oven safe as well. It is nice to have the oven safe as you can upgrade your cooking by just transferring the frying pan and placing it directly to the oven. Here, the discounted price is $39.97 from $44.97. Eh, not bad. But if you want something more quality, you can choose Tifal. This is a more brand that is more known here in the US. But if you want something else, like more expensive or those with a component of like a granite component and other sophisticated materials with beneficial things. So you can choose these stuffs as well. But for now, Minamilis is our team, so let's go for the cheapest one. Which is again, mainstay brand. I suggest buying the cookware set which only costs $14.94. Comes with a saucepan with lid, Dutch oven with lid, and skillet which covers most of the cooking items you need. The next is the rice cooker. I'm an Asian, so I definitely need rice in my life. And yes, we have unlimited supply of rice here in the US. I never ran out of rice ever in Walmart for the last two years. I will show you more the grocery items on my next video. So make sure to subscribe and I'm sure you don't want to miss that as well. For the rice, the cheapest one is the aroma. Get the smaller one if you're single, but if you have like a family or two, get the bigger one. The smaller one can cook around 4 to 5 cups in one go, which can be enough for one day. It is like a typical or the standard rice cooker that we use back in the Philippines or any part in Asia. But if you have the budget, you can also go with the multi-pressure cooker type if you want to. You can use this to soften meat and do other cooking stuff, including the rice cooker. For me and my wife, we bought this instant pot which cost around $59 but we bought it during the Cyber Monday or during the Black Friday sale which only cost around $30. Then, if you don't have a built-in oven at home, you can buy an air fryer instead. Very convenient and easy to use. But if you have an oven, you don't really need one. Then since we are cooking, you need mittens to hold those pans. You can buy those rubber oven mittens which is really durable and will really protect you. But if you also want like those basic cloth mittens, let's go with this set, which is only $4.97. Then of course, you need a chopping board. The cheapest one with a decent size is $1.88. Then of course, the knife. For me, this is a good knife and it has its own sharpening tool when you open it. I like this because it's easier to cut through the chicken bones. But you can buy this later on. Instead, go with this tasty set that comes with a handy scissors. Quality-wise, it stands until now and it's really good. But you just need to buy a sharpening tool later on. Then next, you definitely need a can opener. Let's go for the cheapest one, which is $5.97. You can also get this in Dollar Tree, but better not. Because quality-wise, it doesn't last long and it doesn't work as good. And it rusts easily. So better get this instead. The next is the pizza cutter. Just buy this. It's really nice to have. It's $3.97. As one of the easiest and fulfilling meal to cook here is a pizza by the oven. Easy as in like just open the packaging and put it in the oven and wait for a few minutes and it's cooked. You can also buy this pizza cutter in Dollar Tree. That thing can last longer also. So it's better to buy it from Dollar Tree. 
The next is the strainer for the noodles or pasta. The cheapest one here is $4.97. But you can also buy this in dollar three, which only costs one dollar. The next is the kitchen utensil set. You can buy this plastic set for 97 cents or wooden type for $4.97. But I suggest getting this multi-kitchen set instead, as this comes with different styles with different purposes. And it's plastic, so it won't damage your cooking pan's coating. And Uncle Roger won't get mad at you la. What's she doing? What's she doing? Train the Oh my god! You need this drip tray to dry your plates and other things, which only costs $3.46. But if you have a dishwasher at home, you can use that instead, especially if you're single. If your apartment comes with one, I mean. If you feel like spending more, there are metal versions of this also. The next is the spoon and fork. The cheapest one is this metal per piece items. So we'll just buy two of each. So $1.54 times four pieces equals $6.16. You can buy the set if you want to, but it's too expensive and there's too much items in it, which one person doesn't really need. Also, if you need a small knife, you already bought one earlier. The next is the plate, bowl, and glass. You can buy the cheapest one at 94 cents a piece, but let's buy two a piece, as you never know you might have company at home. So 94 cents times six equals $5.64. Or if you have children or really clumsy and prone to breaking plates and other stuff, buy this instead, Corel Signature. It is a little bit more expensive, but definitely a break proof. Proven guys. <laughs> I bought this set and the entire items are still chip free and intact after falling multiple times. And guys, take note, when buying these items, like the kitchen items, should be dishwasher safe and microwave safe if possible to further or fully utilize these things. Also, you need tongs as well and the cheapest one is 97 cents. Then, for some apartment guys, microwave is not part of the amenities. So you should purchase on your own. So the smaller and the more basic, meaning cheaper. This is small, but it will serve its purpose. But a slightly bigger size is on sale with a better or more known brand. So we will choose this instead, which is $55. The next is the table. We aim to buy a foldable table instead, guys. Eight feet is too big. This is folded, so it doesn't show how big it actually is. Six feet is a decent size. I would recommend buying this brand if you really need a sturdy or durable table, like for chopping meat. As some apartments, especially those small apartments, doesn't come with kitchen countertop, like my previous apartment. But if it comes with one, then just buy this black foldable and adjustable ones instead, which cost $39. Or if you want, you can buy this table with foldable legs instead for only $43. It's up to you. Then of course you need a chair. So we will just buy these foldable chairs as well. The cheapest one available is $12.68. So let's buy two pieces. The next will be the shower room. You need a shower rod and a curtain. Choose depending on the length of your bathroom or tub. Most likely you will buy this $9.88. For us, we only bought ours at a Goodwill which only cost around $2.45. So you can also check those stores as well. Then of course, you need the shower curtain hooks, which cost 94 cents. Then of course, definitely you need the shower curtain. The cheapest one here is $4.96, but you can buy this for $1 in Tree instead. Next we go to the cleaning stuff. Number one on the list is the trash can. We need multiple types of trash can at home actually. One big one for inside your house and another bigger one for putting it outside for the garbage man to come pick it up. But since we are aiming to be minimalist, let's just buy one big one instead for $10.88. You can just put this outside during the trash pickup day and put it back inside your house once the trash has been collected. And of course guys, you need at least one small trash bin. Let's get this $1.62. Then, trash bag of course. You have to buy depending on the size of your trash can. 3.2 gallons, 8 gallons, and 10.5 gallons. There are bigger sizes in a different stores. For now, let's use this 10.5 gallons as it matches our trash can. Then the next is, you definitely need a mop to clean your floors. You can buy those regular standard mops for less than $6. Or those squeeze mops 
for around $11. For me, I don't like the standard mops as you can need to manually squeeze them out and you need to buy a separate bucket as well. Then for the squeeze mop, it's okay, but they don't last that long. You need to change the bottom part every few months that costs around $6 each. So for me, I prefer comfort and practicality, so I would invest and buy this instead. It's easy to use, no squeezing needed. You just need to step on this lever to spin dry it manually, and it lasts longer. Thank you, John, for this donation. By the way, check their website, CNJ Shopping Buddies online store for authentic branded goods. Then moving on for the toilet. You need a toilet brush for $5.97. And just in case it clogs up, a toilet plunger, which costs around $3.34. Of course, you need a broom and dustpan as well, which costs around $9.97. You can buy this in dollar three instead for $1. Then for your dishes, you need some sponge. So the cheapest one is $1, but better get the scotch bright instead, which lasts longer. So let's get the $2.04. Then the dishwashing soap. The best dishwashing soap for me is done. It's equivalent to the Joy dishwashing soap back in the Philippines, which is $2.64. The next is the vacuum cleaner. You need this if you have a carpeted floor in your apartment. There are different types of vacuum cleaner. One, like the standard dry vacuum cleaner. Others with a dual purpose that comes with a carpet washer as well. Wherein, it involves water or special liquid in order to use, which is really handy for carpet stains. And other comes even with steam. So choose depending on your need. For me, choose those that you can use for multi-purposes. Like you can use for the car, meaning the vacuum cleaner should come with a hose in order to vacuum on those tight spaces. We have a pet at home, so it's really nice to have like a carpet cleaner. Or if you have a children at home, it's really nice to have this kind of vacuum as well. So for us, we got this one, which is more expensive, but serves well. Cleans more and cleans deeper. The next will be the closet items. Of course, you need a flat iron for your clothes. For me, the cheapest one here is this Black Decker Steam Iron. It's only $9.97 and works well for us. I don't really need a fancy iron. Then, of course, you need the ironing board. There's a smaller one here, but I prefer buying the regular size, which costs $15.64. We actually bought this bigger version that costs $39.98, but we got this at the clearance section, which only costs $17 then. So it really pays if you visit the clearance aisle from time to time. Then, of course, you need the hangers. Cheapest is $1.17. Let's buy three sets with a total of $3.51. Then you need a laundry basket as well. You can buy this cheapest one, which is $3.97, or you can buy in dollar three for only $1. You can buy this hanger instead, but they don't last long. And it's nice to have a plastic basket whenever you're going to transfer, so you can put some more item or more stuff in it. The next will be the television. So these are the prices for the TV. The bigger, the more expensive it is, and the more known brand, the more expensive as well. Right now, the cheapest here is $126 for an um, estimated 24-inch TV with a brand of ON. For me, it's better to wait for Black Friday sale or Cyber Monday. Because like for me, I bought a 55-inch TV for only $150. 55 inch guys, twice as the size of this TV for only $30 difference or less. The 55 inches originally cost $260. So you see the difference? So better wait for those big sale events. So guys, I think it covers everything. So our grand total will be... So guys, the prices included some appliances or stuff you might not need depending on the amenities your apartment comes with. So just do the process of elimination so you guys can have a better estimate. Guys, hopefully you learned something from this video. Please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe button and share to your friends. And before we end, shout out. Shout out to the Row 4 Girls. Uh, Shiba from the Philippines. Army from Kentucky. Uh, Shife. Uh, Shife. <laughs> Life. Life from Philippines. And Dana from Australia. Hi girls. <laughs> so guys, thank you for watching. God bless. Stay safe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.